Kelly, well, heavy investment to the tunes of billions of dollars will be required to make this happen. The sector's growth rate will need to triple or even quadruple by 2030, according to a memo from the Department of Energy. And supportive policies will be key. The DOE outlined several areas of spending that will boost solar, including tax credits, investing in tech innovation, as well as building out community projects in low-income areas. Solar stocks are getting a boost today, and the Invesco Solar ETF is up 2%. Array Technologies, Flat Glass Group, Shinji Solar Holdings, and Scholz Technologies are leading those gains. However, solar stocks are still down for the week and over the last month, plagued by supply chain and trade concerns. The White House is cracking down on silicon imports from China's Xinjiang region. And here in the U.S., a petition was filed yesterday by some manufacturers asking that tariffs be extended to China-linked factories in Malaysia, Vietnam, and Thailand. The Solar Energy Industries Association is saying the consequences of this could be, quote, severe. So, Tyler, a huge growth opportunity, but a lot of headwinds facing the industry right now. Shepard Smith here. Thanks for watching CNBC on YouTube.